What's up guys, this is Aiden Rides and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video we're doing something special. We haven't been able to uh, get out and do this for a little bit now, um, but we are going to be chasing after some walleye today and we're going to camp out here tonight and uh, just cook up some food and have a good time and hopefully catch some fish for you. So we think we found a pretty good spot here. We're just going to drill around, make sure we're on a good spot for the rest of the night and uh, we'll just start fishing. All right guys, we're getting our tip up set up right now. I set up my tip up in about 17 feet or so, like 16 and a half, 17. Um, it's still a little bit earlier in the day, so maybe I can get some of those fish that are still kind of moving up out of that deeper water out. He's got his in um, a little bit shallower. Definitely a good spot here. We're set up on top of some pretty um, heavy weeds right here um, on this little flat right off a little bit that way. Probably about 20 yards is my tip up uh, set up off that ledge there where it drops. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get something here. We're just going to start drilling around and digging and uh, see if we can get something. not skunked all right guys first fish of the night for me just this little perch obviously nothing too crazy just a little guy but this is a really really good sign that we found some fish and these are perfect bait fish for walleye and pike moving through there we go back down she goes all right guys dropping down we've just got a little buckshot on tipped with a minnow head Uh, about 17 but over here I'm in like 18 I was a minute ago I had one come right up to me but nothing really at the moment on nicer fish sorry I got I got a mark on me right now Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hold on. Oh my gosh, that dude, that was a bigger fish. Dude, oh my gosh. I literally, I just hooked into something big too. Dude, let's go. Let's freaking go. I literally, I would have came over, but I had marks all over me. No, that's fine, that's fine. I, w I wasn't even jigging the ripping wrap, but that's my first fish I've ever caught on the ripping wrap through the ice. That is sweet. Look at that dude. right there, guys. I was not jigging it at all. I mean, nice what, job, dude. 13 and, and that was in, yeah, and that was in what, like 19 feet, right? Like, I wasn't drinking it at all. It was just sitting there. Dude, so I literally, and as you guys saw, I literally just hooked into. I, like, as I like, was running over here, I like saw you hook up. Or like set the hook yeah. and I just doubled over. <sighs> dude, dude, let's go. Look at that right there, guys. Let's go, Alex. Alex just got a walleye, and that was actually in the hole that I had uh, kind of gotten bit earlier, whether I actually had a walleye or not. We don't know exactly, but that hole has obviously got some fish in it over there. And so basically, up right in front of us here is a nice flat, and that's why off to our left here we've got the house set up. And then uh, we're kind of fishing around this flat here right now. Uh, I'm kind of right on the edge of it. Alex is, it like swoops around this way towards Alex. And Alex is on like that deeper side of it over there. Right off in 19 feet. And um, yeah, I mean, they could just be cruising through there, moving their way up to this flat. Um, I was even thinking since he just got that one over there, it might even be worth drilling some holes next to him. A little bit deeper um, out along that edge there and there might be some fish running that um, but yeah good first fish think so is he on you got him better fish oh gosh yeah I got to do no 
It was. Oh my gosh, dude. Alex just lost him right the whole. Dude, that was like at least 18. Oh my gosh, dude, that sucks. Well, when you think about it, both times they've hit it, it's been when it's still. And you're right off this point here, too. Yeah. Alright guys, well we've been fishing for a little bit outside. Um, Alex got those couple there and then Alex also missed one right at the hole. It was like an 18 incher he thought and he did get that one earlier which is nice and that was uh, under what you could keep on this lake. Um, yeah that guy was little so we threw him back but basically as you can see it's getting really dark out now but from this lake we've heard that it can be really really good after dark too so um, we're, we're still hoping for a big one. All right, guys, here's what we're looking at for our setup. Um, it's pretty nice because we can fish in these two holes here. And then we've got, obviously, both of our beds off to the sides. And we're just going to get this heater going and start cooking and hopefully catch some fish. We've got some hot dogs going. Well, some brats, I guess. we got some weenies going. And we're getting ready to eat here. We're super hungry. And we've just been kind of hanging out watching our tip-ups. And um, yeah, we'll see. We've been trying to fish for some perch inside here too, since there are perch around. Um, we might be able to catch some perch tonight too. All right, going in for our first bite. You guys did not see, but we filled this entire house with smoke just a minute ago because I was not paying attention and it just burnt it horribly but they're perfect oh yeah they actually are those are good I tried to look for like the cheese ones the cheese ones are the best but I found like some beer brats and these are really good too but I can't tell you how good like something like warm and like salty tastes like when you're out ice fishing like this because like you can bring like snacks and stuff out here but when you actually get like somewhat of like real food to eat it's like tastes so good that's what i'm talking about right there guys m&ms fishing some people might not call this fishing but this is hardcore fishing right here we're out in the elements right now without any food or anywhere to sleep <laughs> <laughs> all right guys alex is getting his rattle reel set up here He's got this right up top here, and then that'll go off in the middle of the night if there's a fish on there. Some stuff set up here, like I've got my sleeping bag, and this is a brand new sleeping bag by the way. Um, like I said, the last sleeping ba bag I had at Red Lake was definitely not warm enough, but this one should be a lot better. We got the heater going for now, I think we're going to shut it off once we go to bed, but Alex has got his sleeping bag and stuff over there. so. I've still got my jigging rod down here, um, but before I go to bed, I'll put the iFish Pro down. I did tie on a rip and wrap, which is what Alex got his um, walleye on earlier. But yeah, so far nothing's came through. Um, we're kind of just jigging and hanging out, and then I'm sure we'll go to bed here in a little bit. I'm just super excited for the morning bite. All right, guys, we are laying down in bed right now. We're pretty much ready to go to bed, and it's about 10 o'clock right now, so um, nothing's hit our tip-ups or anything yet, but hopefully we'll be waking up in the middle of the night to some big walleye, or in the morning, hopefully we'll be able to get out and uh, catch some big ones. So I think we're going to wake up around 7 o'clock and get out and try and get out for that uh, morning bite. So I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh. I like usually sleep on my stomach. So last night I slept on my back because of the sleeping bag. And now I like rolled over on my stomach outside my sleeping bag. I definitely could sleep a lot longer. But we're going to get up, see if any of these fish will bite. Our tip ups did not get hit at all. Nothing got hit last night. <sighs> we're going to get out, start jigging, and uh, hopefully catch some fish for this morning bite. Alright, 
right, boys. First drop. We've got the rip and wrap on. This is what Alex was catching, uh, or caught that one on last night. And then hooked into that other one last night, too. Right on top of these weeds here. I might have to move off these weeds a little bit to get to some of these bigger fish. I got one, Alex. Little walleye. <laughs> Just a little guy. Yeah, on the rip and wrap, dude. I did exactly the same cadence as you were saying. Literally, like, I was jigging it hard, right? And it just slowly started working its way up and once it was like engaged with the bait yeah. i was just like slowly kind of just yeah. like and bouncing it, it and it just came up and just hit it right away yeah. probably about like 19 ish feet here so it could just be a little deeper but there we go on the rip and wrap and like who knows, maybe next time we should just come out deeper. Like, I know that they should be roaming that flat, but like, all the fish have been on this ledge right here, you know? They're not even that bad though. Like, they're not like the tiny, tiny ones, no, you yeah. know? All right guys, well, came back inside. It's a little bit cold out there. I moved my tip up over where I caught that walleye um, a little bit earlier and figured, you know, there's obviously some fish moving through there. So I moved my fish pro over there uh, just for a better chance at some walleye. But Alex's rattle reel just got nailed a little bit ago and he's just been in here eating pizza, catching perch. So um, I figured I'd come in here and try and catch some perch and I'll probably throw on a couple pieces of pizza too. But um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out, hopefully, uh, some fish will start moving through whatever hit his slip bobber though like nailed it like there's no way that that was a perch like there's just no way but um yeah we'll see if we can get some <laughs> <sighs> it's so scary i know <laughs> holy crap it's true. Yeah. that would have been pretty bad i still don't know how i did that Upside down. Where we get the cheese done faster? Fishing and eating pizza from angling with Al. He made it himself. He's a big pizza maker. Chicken bacon ranch. Oh, it looks good. I'm so hungry.